What's going on adventurers? I am currently on my way back to Florida from Abbeville, South Carolina, where we were just at the Belmont Inn. Such an amazing time, guys, but on the way home, I happened to notice this expansive cemetery. It looks quite old, and it looks like it has a lot of characters, so I just wanted to stop in. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. It's probably not gonna be as long as my usual videos, but I kinda just wanted to show you around a little bit, show you some of the graves, and I'll probably go ahead and turn on the necrophonic for just a little bit. So let's check it out, guys. This one in particular really caught my eye. But there are a lot of really interesting graves here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do like a, a little bit of a walkthrough. We'll see what we see. Hear what we hear. This place is just full of character. It's pretty awesome. It's not in the best part of town. Look at this one. This is crazy. Wow. Look at these. This one is beautiful. Mary. I love the little bird. I, I'm not sure if that's a dove, but it's really cool. These are amazing, guys. I always get really excited when I see graves that look like the ones behind me here. I mean, they just don't make headstones like they used to. These are just so beautiful and so intricate and detailed. So I'm going to put some pictures up on our social media. Check out our Instagram and our Twitter as well for some pictures that I've snapped. But uh, I'm going to keep going here. A couple other ones that I want to show you. This, Like I said, this place is huge. I'm not going to be able to cover the whole place. But I'm going to show you what I can. So let's check it out, guys. Sorry about the background noise. There is somebody over there doing some yard work. We're actually right next to the train tracks as well. Whoa. Some pine cones on the ground there. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this, that is absolutely beautiful. So guys, I'm really surprised because I have not seen one Woodsman of the World monument in this cemetery, which honestly, I'm shocked. I thought there would be at least one as large as the cemetery is and as old as it is. 
there's possibly one here somewhere and I just didn't see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and we're gonna do the necrophonic. See what we get. All right guys, so I am back in the car. And Athena's with me, of course. Um, I'm going to just sit here in the car with the necrophonic on. It's kind of loud outside of the car. It's kind of loud in here too though, because somebody's being annoying. Um, <laughs> there's somebody I think with a weed whacker, or some sort of yard equipment making a lot of noise. So I'm gonna sit in the car. I think it'll be better for you guys to hear the EVPs. And I'm just gonna face the camera out towards the cemetery though, and I'm gonna put the speaker very close to you. Probably not gonna try to interpret too much right now, but I'll go ahead and put what I hear in the video. Hi, who's here with us? <coughs> How many spirits are with us? Six. Six. I heard six. What are your names? Did one of you draw us into your cemetery today to talk to you? What's your name? It was really weird, guys. Actually, like, as I was driving past, I happened to look over and I noticed the cemetery and I was like, wow, it looks really old. Um, you know, you guys know I'm very intrigued with this, the older style what? cemeteries. <laughs> and for whatever reason, I was like, I gotta turn around and go back. Mm -hmm. But I feel like something drew me here. Uh -huh. So, what's, what's your name? <laughs> Who drew me back to the cemetery? Billy. Billy did. Oh, wow. Hi, Billy. What do you want to say to us? Why did you lead me here? I don't have a whole lot of time today, guys, but I would love to know. If you have a message for me, go ahead and say it now, please. They said, listen. Yes. Okay, we're listening. Okay, guys, uh, is there anything else that you want to say to us before we leave? All right, we're getting ready to leave. We're going to go ahead and head out. Thank you so much for talking with us today. All right, bye-bye. Rest in peace. All right, guys, I wasn't able to interpret a whole lot of the EVPs. Um, it's it's hard to do it in real time. I mean, I do it quite a bit, and when Lisa's with me, she does it quite a bit, too. But sometimes it's better to be quiet and just listen to what they're saying and then um, interpret it later. So usually what we'll do, all of us, is we'll, if we're like 99% sure what we heard, we'll say it. If we're not, we'll usually wait and we'll go ahead and put the text in the video. So that's probably what this video will be mostly. I'll be mostly putting the text of what I heard in the video. But if you guys hear anything else, anything in addition to what I didn't catch, please go ahead and leave it in the comments section. We always love to hear what you guys hear coming through. Um, we love to hear what you hear. <laughs> there I go again. Um, but 
yeah, we look forward to your interpretation as well. So. Named after the famous African 
good thing he forgot to pack his trunk on that trip. Uh-huh. Here I like to point out a few of my favorite plants. Let's see up there, that's set up. And over here, those two setups. Did you see me point setups? Uh-huh. Hey kids, do you know what the scariest plant in the jungle is? Bamboo! That's a bamboo jungle. Now head on the left is Trader Sam. Uh, if you don't know Sam, well, Sam is the head salesman of the jungle. And he loves attention. I said. Sam told, told me that lately his business has been shrinking. If you look over in this direction, you're going to see a strange phenomenon. There's a dock on the left, and then there's a dock on the right. We call that a paradox. We love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. Um, always lots more adventures headed your way. So we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.